Sana'a, Yemen's capital, is a divided city. In this area near government ministries, the Houthis have set up their protest camp. Their followers are mainly from the north of the country. They see their act of defiance as a legitimate move against a government they accuse of turning its back on their demands. In 2011, there was a revolution led by politicians, but this is the real revolution. Our politicians have embezzled the country and they cling on to power to defend their interests. Shia Houthi rebels are led by this man, Abdel Malik al Houthi. He says his people are determined to stay on the streets until their demands are met. The Houthis want the government to resign and be replaced by a government of technocrats. He also wants fuel subsidies reinstated and, above all, a greater representation in the government. But for Houthi opponents, these are demands that mask a growing Shia rebel ambition to seize power. Tribesmen, pro-government militias and Sunni leaders have united to support the president. They all accuse the Houthis of implementing a radical religious agenda backed by Iran. I tell the Houthis, stop deceiving people, don't intimidate people. Their agenda is Iranian. They have to join the legitimacy and the political process. President Abdrabbu Mansour Hadi is under mounting pressure to do something. He recently told a gathering that the army is ready to carry out a swift operation against the Houthis. Hundreds of rebel fighters have set up checkpoints on main roads in and out of Sana'a. Yemen is now topping the agenda of the international community and regional powers. There are real concerns that with the growing sectarian divide, the country might implode, leading to war and chaos. Hashim Ahbar Al Jazeera, Salah.